guys, my name's Hannah, and this is 5 Things I Wish I Would've Known When I Was In High School. Number one, it gets better. During my sophomore year, I went through a really hard time. I'm not gonna say what it was, um, but something happened, and I was just not in a good place. And I thought, like, oh my gosh, no, I just can't take it anymore, whatever. But it gets better. All the people that you have to deal with, it gets better. Everything, everything just gets better. So just remember to keep your chin up and keep your head held high. Number two is be adventurous. I know this is just another way of saying try new things, but I think it's more than that. Being adventurous is daring to do something that no one else is doing and getting to know parts of yourself that you didn't know before. When I was a sophomore, I signed up for my video productions class, and I honestly think that's one of the best decisions that I made during high school. Before that class, I was you know, interested in film, but not looking at it like a career or anything and never did anything about it. But being in that class, really, it helped obviously my skills in that area and it really um, showed me and revealed uh, the passion that I had for film. And one thing that I wish I would have taken would be drama. I was too scared to take drama because I honestly, I'm just an awful actor. But I mean, it could have been fun and I could have gotten better at it and who knows, maybe I am good at acting and I just didn't know it. And maybe it's not in taking classes, but going and joining new clubs or saying hi to that new person that no one else is talking to. Number three, the friends you have freshman year won't be the friends you have senior year and that is okay. When I went into high school, I thought that the friends I had then were going to be my lifelong friends. And honestly, I don't talk to a single one of them. I mean, we're still casual friends, but nothing like we used to be. And at first it hurt me, you know, drifting away from my friends, but then I realized that it's normal, it happens. As you go through high school, you start to find yourself and find what you like and um, what you enjoy doing. And drifting away from people that don't have those same things in common is just a part of life and it happens. And it's totally, it's totally cool. And sometimes you have to say goodbye to friendships um, that aren't healthy for you. It's not rude, it's not mean, but it's doing what's best for you at the time. And I had to do that, and it was really hard for me, but looking back on it now, it was so, so worth it. Number four is think outside of yourself. As you go through high school, you start to find out the way you like your makeup and the way you like to dress, and that's totally fine but don't let that become you. I think a lot of times we become too obsessed with how we appear to others um, and the way we act and the way we talk. And sometimes we just need to think outside of that and not worry so much about how we look to others. I had a poster in my room when I was younger that said something along the lines of, it won't matter what jeans you wore or how your makeup looked or what hairstyle you had that day. What matters is how you treated other people. And it sounds pretty stupid and pretty generic, but it's so true. It's so important to invest time in others. And number five, your GPA matters. Now going into freshman year, I had this whole ideal that I was a freshman now, I was super cool, and that my grades really didn't matter. I wasn't striving for more, I was just... But as the years went by and I started to realize that your grades are actual money, I started to care about my GPA. And I wish that I would have cared my freshman year because it honestly would have made things so much easier. Because if you try your freshman year and your sophomore year and your junior year, you don't have to try as hard your senior year. Which sounds bad, but it's totally true. Your GPA and how well you score the ACT, I know it sucks and you're more than just numbers, but it is money and it does help for college. And so honestly, your GPA matters so much. And even though your schoolwork and your grades matter a lot, you need to keep in mind that your mental health goes above all of that. Try hard, but don't try so hard that you overexhaust yourself. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something from it. Um, if you did, uh, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe down below. And follow all my social media links over there and feel free to talk to me, tweet me, comment on my Instagram anytime. I love to talk to you guys. That you wish you would have known in high school or any tips that you wish you would have known in college for me, then uh, comment those below and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!